The Food and Drug Administration is worried that so many people are overdosing on the drug, winding up with liver damage. A group of government advisors is conducting a safety review this week and taking a whole new look at the warnings. Our GMA medical contributor, Dr. Marie Savard, is here to tell everybody. So we're talking about the drug used in Tylenol so that everybody knows brand name under which they yes, recognize it the most. No question, Tylenol is the most common brand name of acetaminophen. Okay, let me just get a sense of what they're doing here. Are they actually maybe looking at taking it off the market, or is this just about a different kind of warning? No, I think, Diane, for those listening who take a little bit of Tylenol, it is a safe, effective drug. It lowers fever, treats pain. They're not talking about removing it from the market, but they are talking about a couple things. First, just reviewing combinations. There's a lot of combination medic, you know, out there that people don't know what they're taking. Looking at the labels themselves. Are they going to change the warning labels? Alerting people to the liver damage, which is a concern if you take too much. And then finally they're talking about maybe lowering the recommended dosage. So I think that's what's so important. Let's look at this more seriously. People haven't till now taken the liver toxicity as seriously as perhaps they should. Okay, everybody pay attention. So let's talk about the recommended dosage, what it is during the course of a day, what it is if you also drink alcohol, and what it is if you're taking other medications that may have it in it. Right, all right, so let's start from the beginning. First of all, a healthy person should take no more than four grams a day. Which That's is? That's equivalent to eight extra strength Tylenol, which I can tell you from practice is a very popular way to do it. Two, four times a day is the maximum. If you drink, for example, more than two drinks a day, you should lower it in half, the total daily dose. In half. So in you half. So you're talking about maybe no more than four extra strength Tylenol in a day. And then finally, what they're talking about is maybe lowering the recommended dose to somewhere around, on average, six a day, which would be three grams a day. But that's the pure Tylenol. That's not the combination. If you're taking it and know you're taking it. So what, what, what other medications might it be in that we don't even know we're getting an extra dose? This is what I th worries me a lot. There's a lot of combination products out there, both prescription and non-prescription, over-the-counter, that can fool you. It's not clearly marked. So first thing, read labels carefully. Make sure you're not getting a total of more than 4,000 milligrams or 4 grams of acetaminophen a day. And it will always say acetaminophen on it if You've it's in it. You've got to read the fine print. It's going to be in the fine mm -hmm. print, the acetaminophen. Mm -hmm. Second, look at the combinations. That's important. Look for that fine print. And third, get your prescription medicines. These are just too generic. This is a Percocet or a generic oxycodone. There's a code on it that'll tell you it's acetaminophen, APAP. On your prescription, if it says APAP, that's really code word for acetaminophen. Add all the doses up. That's a lot of time. And quickly, I know you also wanted to say, don't automatically now switch to something else thinking that's safer because... Because the other alternatives for pain, for inflammation, for fever have potentially even more side effects, especially in seniors. Aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen can cause stomach bleeding, bleeding anywhere, can cause high blood pressure, affect kidneys. So Tylenol is safe if taken correctly, and perhaps we need to alert people a little bit more and lower the recommended dose. If you drink a lot, don't take any of this stuff. All right. Heads up, everybody. Talk to your doctor about what you're taking and how much you're taking in a day. Thank you, Maureen.